If you'd like a backsplash for your kitchen, I have got a great, fast, easy one to show you coming right up. Knock, knock. Who's there? So I painted the kitchen red thinking, wow, it's going to be a really like hot. <laughs> and it's boring. It's still boring. <laughs> it doesn't look very interesting. So I had this idea, which is to take these tin ceiling panels, which I actually did a headboard for my bed in these units. And I thought they'd look really cool as a backsplash. So the thing is, they have to be painted because when you first buy tin ceiling panels, they are, they're just silvery like this and they, they can uh, rust. So you have to prime and paint. This is obviously clearly a well-used tin of primer and it sticks to anything. It says right on the thing, sticks to glass and ceramic, alkyd oil, paint, glossy surfaces with no sanding and uh, galvanized metal. Simply lift the lid. Oh, hear that. I'm gonna prime this and uh, let it dry and then paint it with two coats of paint to match those other panels. It's pretty soft, so you just bite in, but then almost immediately you're hanging up on this. And so now you're frustrated and kind of irritable. So this is when you switch tools to one of these guys. These things are made for a guy with a huge ham hand, so sometimes if you don't have the span, there we go. See, this is working great. So now I have the pieces that'll go on either side of this. We have to cut them out a little bit to fit the cabinets, so that's a little bit more cutting. Um, the metal edges are really sharp, and so some people would say, well, wear gloves, but I'm being really careful. So I'm gonna, see, look, I can lay this whole thing out now. And I've got my little post-it note with my schematic of how this is supposed to work. Just let's put it in place and see what we get. So this piece goes right over here. Pretty good. There's a few gaps, but it's not too bad. And who's going to look? Who's going to look? If you've got the guy and friends, they're going to come in. So, oh, hmm, a little bit of a gap there. Those aren't good friends. Don't invite them. Don't invite them unless it's dark, you know, like a blackout. I've marked the outside edges, so I'm just going to make a kind of ripply pattern. This is like denture cream for walls. And it's repositionable for about, oops, <laughs> oh dear, no, I've done it. Uh, oh, it always comes to this with me. Uh, for about 15 minutes, it's repositionable. Mmm, this is the fun part. You can write secret messages, big heart. And then someday when people tear apart your house because they've decided to move on and build a better home, you'll see your secret message. Okay, so that's gonna go up there. Press. Just like you have a toddler with a little bit of over secretion, we'll just wipe off that little problem right there. There we go. Okay, so the other way that you can install um, this tin ceiling paneling stuff is to put a quarter inch uh, plywood layer under here, but I didn't want the extra thickness, so that's why I'm just doing it right onto the wall. So something like that, and press. Mmm, gorgeous. Okay, and then just the little edges. big reveals in life. So there you have it, your tin backsplash. Don't forget to get the offset tin snips, ask for them by name, say I want offset tin snips please. Person at the tool crib. Cool eh? Okay so now you know all the secrets.
Two girls.